to Pure Nebraska. In our last segment, we took a closer look at how the use of technology in farming can benefit consumers. And now we are joined again by Common Ground volunteer Ruth Reedy of Scribner. Ruth, we love Wednesdays <laughs> because uh, all of you Common Ground volunteers always bring a great recipe to share. Yeah. And this is perfect for the holidays. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You call it a sausage cheese ball, right? Right. Mm -hmm. It's really quick and simple. Um, three ingredients. Mm -hmm. uh, we have gr ground pork sausage. And in this case, this is a medium seasoning. Just depends how you like your breakfast sausage. You like spicy, mm -hmm. there's all sorts of seasonings out here. And then we have cheddar cheese. Okay. And biscuit mix, okay? Mm. And yeah. the biscuit mix is kind of the glue that holds it all together. And so is it like a biscuit type of yeah, thing? Yeah, like a biscuit, mm -hmm. you know, or whoever's biscuit mix is out there. <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, it looks like a lot of cheese, and it is, but that's what makes it tasty. What was mm -hmm. it again? How much cheese it's, do you put it's, in? It's, uh, is it a cup? Yeah, or 16 ounces. It's, it's 16 oh, ounces, yep. It's, it's a pound of sausage. Ounces, yeah. It's a pound of sausage, a pound of cheese, and two cups of biscuit mix. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you just work it together, and it takes a little while to get all the mix, but it will. You, you may get desperate and say, oh, i got to add something else to this. It will mix. You just have to be a little patient. And we may just take a piece of this and just kind of go ahead and make the little, the little walnut-sized balls for the sausage balls that we make and just kind of roll it together. Yeah, that's something kids would have fun yeah, doing. Yeah, yeah. And I've made them bigger too for like, if you want to make it for an entree for, oh. I wanted a quick supper one time and so I made these ahead of time. Oh. And Put them you, in the fridge and? You, you can bake them and then reheat them. Really, they oh. reheat awesomely in the microwave. And I would recommend though putting parchment paper down. Parchment yeah. paper is wonderful. I, I love mean, parchment I, paper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's my best friend. Yeah. Um, because they do, they will stick otherwise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the parchment paper, you have no problem. Well, it browns perfectly. Too. Yeah, and they brown up nicely. And uh, then once they're cooked, um, you can it. serve them. Yep, these Final are the product. cooked product. We'll show it to everybody. Mm -hmm. And you can either use toothpicks or sometimes stick pretzels are kind of fun to stick in mm -hmm. there. You know, then then you can throw it all or eat it all. You don't have to throw anything away. Oh, that's a good idea. And then yeah. dip them in any sauce that you want. Um, we like. Um, some barbecue sauce, or if you like a honey mustard, or, or the ever-present ranch. Mm -hmm. You know, gotta have ranch. Always. Whatever, there you go, whatever, oh. whatever you want to try Can with I them. Have it? Absolutely. I try. wish we could zoom in on these, but we're remodeling our studio. Yeah. So. And so we yeah. can't, but mm -hmm. they they look We've really. We've had some good. viewers ask about the close-up shot, <laughs> which the close-up shot would be wonderful, but you I have know. to use your imagination a yeah, little. Yeah. So let's try. You have to look at the recipe. You mm. took a picture earlier so mm. they can see the recipe online. On so, our Facebook page, yep. yeah. So you can see them close up in that. So mm -hmm. Those are really good. Really good. And I could see, you know, some dipping sauces mm -hmm. with it would be mm -hmm. really great. Mm -hmm. A lot right. of fun. And where they can be prepared ahead of time and you can bake them. And like I say, you can pop them back in the microwave. They they come out beautifully. Mm -hmm. They don't get tough. They don't. Nothing deteriorates in the quality. So you can freeze them and pull them out, mm. you know, in bulk if you need to, if you're having a big gathering or something. I love that. Could you put so, them in the crock pot too, mm -hmm, just to mm -hmm. warm them up? I would put just probably a little bit of moisture in there underneath, mm. just to make sure you don't stick. And and there again, use that liner in the crock pot. Mm -hmm. Those are beautiful too. Mm -hmm. Whoever yeah. invented all these things to make. Cleaning up easy. <laughs> a lot easier, yep. yeah. I well, love those. We will have this recipe on our Pure Nebraska Facebook page, along with a close-up picture, so you can <laughs> see how great these look. So, thank you, Ruth. You bet. Thank I think you. I'm going to eat all of those, actually. Uh, you could. Okay. Get lunch. You really <laughs> That's could. That's right.